Hello everybody, uh, you don't know who I am because I'm just a nobody, but that's not important. What's important is the game I will be playing today, which is called The Butler Did It. And it's a little bit cut off, so let me see if... Can I, can I change the... No, can't change the resolution. All right, um... Well, that's fine, just bear with me. So there are apparently three difficulties. The page, recommended difficulty for first time offenders. Well, it is my first time. Valet, demands the execution of a well-timed strategy. No pocket watch. And Butler, a test of absolute self-control, wits, and timing. No pocket watch, no mind map. So I'll just go with the um, easiest difficulty and start from there. Go ahead. Make your move, Butler. Yes, my lord. Bring me more wine, Butler. Yes, my lord. Ah, uh, you don't think you can beat me this time, do you? Not with your rook place like that. Playing chess. Checkmate, my lord. You pigeon livered horn swaggler. Today's the day you want to end me. What's what? Well, butler, I'm two steps ahead. Shatter. Checkmate, my lord. What, did I kill him? I murdered the lord. I had to do it, but suddenly the doorbell rings. What? So I murdered the lord because... What? He... Uh, you did it. Wait, so I... The, the lord wanted to kill me because I beat him in chess and then I had to stab him? Uh, whatever. I, Hugh Dunnett, am the butler of Deddington Manor. I murdered the lord, alright. Lord Deddington, very dead, the richest animal on earth, is the abusive lord of this manor and all its staff. Dirty Potts. Mr. Potts is the gardener of Deddington Manor. Okay, so I can press T to calm myself. Driveway. He's dead. And I killed him. Now that I look at him, there's still some glass shards scattered around from the wine bottle I hit him with. If I were to clean them, it would be harder to figure out what did him in. Alright, so basically the premise of the game is that I, I as the butler, kill the lord. And what I have to do is frame the murder on uh, some of the other party guests that are arriving. So then I can frame them for the murder. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the glass shards so they won't know. Um, so it's gonna be harder to figure out what actually happened. All right, Lord's bedchamber. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Is that a gun? A rifle Lord Deddington took from an enemy defeated on the battlefield. Can I take one of these swords? No. Alright, so I have a gun now. Can I use it on anything? Nope, it's just in my inventory, alright. Okay, so apparently I can click on things. This is a point and click style adventure game. So what is, oh, that's an elevator. I'm not gonna go right now. Let's see, I wanna explore the this floor first. Puppetry, you have a whole room dedicated to puppets. Garden, so uh, I'll meet uh, Mr. Potts over there. Let's check out what's in this room. Bathroom, can I flush the toilet? Can I dispose as? Oh, evidence there, maybe? Alright, let's go to the ground floor. Or should I go to the basement first? No floor unavailable, okay. Atrium. Alright, there's a very spazzy arrow leading me over there. Telephone. Can't do this anymore. I'll call Frogland Yard. I don't want to end the run. 
Who's this? Butler of House Steddington. Let the Lord know General Edna Tuscan has arrived. Oh no. General Tuscan, it is an honor to welcome you to Deddington Manor, even at this unconventional hour. I just arrived from the southern front. I won the battle against an overwhelming force in less than a day. A legendary strategist, General Edna Tuscan, arrived shortly after midnight. So that's in my notes now. Punctuality is part of the integrity required of a Navy general after all. Say, butler, is the lord asleep already? <laughs> what lord? <laughs> Who are you? Yes, the Lord is asleep. Very well. Very well then, butler, I will simply wait right here until he wakes up. For you see, we're throwing him a surprise party with special guests. There's a surprise party for the Lord tonight. Uh-oh. There's even a great detective visiting us. The Lord will love it, I'm positive. That sounds thrilling. I'm willing to give Lord Deddington until 9 o'clock sharp today, then I will wake him up. Oh, it's 1am right now. This isn't good. Till then, is there anything I can help you with? I was just about to ask you this question. Do you have anything to discuss, Butler? Do I? Yes, actually. I think there is something. Oh, okay, so... Um, I can... Oh, okay, so yeah, I can- <laughs> I murdered the lord. Um, modest pocket watch. Alright, let's talk to him about the party. This seems irrelevant. Okay, what about the gun? Butler, now what is this? It is Lord Deddington's trophy rifle. He wanted me to show it to you, given your expertise with weapons. I believe it was malfunctioning. Well, it is a weapon of local making, but he must have taken it from the natives on his visit to the southern frontier. Say, butler, did he ever try to use it? I believe it was malfunctioning. Malfunctioning, I see. Well, I'm sure that this rifle's time spent in the hands of the enemy must have damaged it. The factories of my motherland produce only the finest of goods, after all. I've never seen her this insecure. Is there something up that she's not mentioning? The rifle Lord Dennington took from the opposing force during the war has been tampered with during its production. But yes, Stern Old Tuscan, that must be it. Alright. So... Okay, so yeah. Alright, I think that's it for him now. Or is there more- what is- Alright, nothing out here. What is this thing? What? What is that? I don't know. Anything else? She's expecting something from me, I can feel it. Ah, uh, that's right, I'm a butler. I should bring her something to eat from the living room. By the seven seas, if only I had some juicy grapes. Alright, so I need to bring her some grapes. Um, let's go to the garden over here. Can I play the piano? No. Okay, there's a f fireplace. Okay, those are the grapes. Let's check this room out first. Mm, more guns. Lots of guns. Lots of guns. Uh, and a lot of... A lot more guns. There's a rose. Can't interact with any of this. Nope. Can't interact with anything here. I'm assuming this is where the party guests will assemble later. Um, let's see, fireplace. Fire source of warmth and absolute destruction. I don't know why I can zoom in here. Maybe I can destroy some evidence. Grapes, extra juicy. All right, library. Looks like a white one. Edna, presumably. Alright, I can't re Okay, so this is the king here. Let's see... Yep. He is... Uh, no, the king... Yeah, the king is checkmated. Yep. Um... Oh. I can move these. 
don't know why. Maybe it has to, something to do with the puzzle. Who am I trying to fool with this? Oh, okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be a puzzle later, probably. Um, all right, let's see. Let's. It's still raining outside. I only own a single suit. All right, so. Apparently I can't go meet Mr. Potts, so I'll just go give the grapes to General Edna and see what comes of it. Here you are. Maybe she'll talk to me again once I give her these stupid grapes. The grapes should be in my inventory. I can find my inventory behind the purple bookmark. Already knew that. Grapes, extra General Tuscan, a grape. Oh, oh, how thoughtful. You really didn't have to, but I will gladly take it. This grape is incredible. Mighty grape, I admit it. From now on, I shall only consume the most powerful of food. So, General, how long are you planning on staying today? The Lord is sleeping very soundly tonight. Perhaps the party has to be cancelled? Absolutely not, but that's not important right now. Eating the scrape felt magical. General Tuscan? General Tuscan? You'd like to talk? Butler, don't take it to heart, but after eating this mighty grape, I've come to the conclusion to only surround myself with what I consider of sufficient physical strength. I can no longer be dragged down by the me mediocre. Now, if you would have a heavy, heavy object with you that you could present to me, I might consider a chat with you. If you fail to do so, I'm looking forward to talk with individuals on my level, such as the Lord. I shall give him until 9 o'clock sharp. After that, I will wake him up by force. Oh, it's 2.35 right now. It's always some new stupid thing when she's here. Okay, so when are the party guests arriving? I don't know, but I need to find an, a heavy object. Um, where would I be able to find a heavy object? Um, I don't know what she considers a heavy object. Um, maybe this phonograph? No. no this is clickable. Um, maybe it's back upstairs. Well, the doorbell rings again. Okay, so why can't I go? Oh, why am I back in here? Just pick up the piano. <laughs> oh, the detective, I assume. Um, Tycoon Theodore Theodorus T. Tyrell III Sr. has arrived. I'm here for lunch at a party, and a party, but mostly lunch, one less meal paid for. Good late evening, General Tuscan, evening butler. I didn't think the evening could get any worse after murdering Lord Deddington. Do I really have to keep talking to him? Good, e good evening, Lord Tyrell. Looks like Tuscan beat me to the party, again. Thought she was stationed overseas. Between us, butler, just how early did she manage to arrive? Clues can be presented to people the same way items are presented. Every clue I have collected, I'll write down in my notebook, which can be found with my yellow bookmark. Alright. Uh, please open. Okay, I, I need to advance the dialogue. So, Butler, how early did General Tuscan arrive? Let's see, General Tuscan. Shortly after midnight. I was informed that she won a battle on the southern front in a mere day, Lord Tyrell. <clears throat> Presumably to be on time for the party. I see yet another quick victory for Grand General. I'm sure she won't spare us any detail in the hours to come. So am I, Lord Tyrell. But I will simply counter by telling you all the great mysteries I have solved in recent times. I can't wait. Anything else? Uh, he has not, uh, I assume, Lord Deddington is still asleep. Yes, yes, clearly still asleep. When he wakes up, I have, I have a few presents for him, one of which is a really, really heavy gold bar. I had to get elephants to carry it, but I'm sure Lord Deddington will appreciate the efforts. Where is that gold bar now? 
I must know so I can store it properly for Lord Dennington. A bit rude, aren't we, butler? But well, the gold bar has been brought to the wine cellar in the basement. All right, so I need to get to the basement so I can take the gold bar. Heavy, very heavy. All right, let's see anything else in here. Noteworthy. Okay, let's just explore this basement. Maintenance, nothing in here. Nope. Okay, wine cellar, let's look to the right. Anything here I can interact with. Kitchen, can I take a knife? Nope. Just click on everything I see. All right, what is this? Food chamber, a gun, a revolver the Lord has kept fits perfectly into small owl wings. Ooh. So I'm probably going to use that to frame Lord T. <laughs> so, um, but I think you can frame like all of the guests depending on like, you know, what route you take. Right, give you the gold bar, heavy gold bar. Jabem, I don't know what how to pronounce that. That gold bar must be at least as heavy as half of my medals. Butler, you have certainly proven your strength to this high general marshal sergeant. Edna seems to have many honor titles. Tell me, what is your name? Hugh did it, ma'am. She should know this. Was she not here three days ago? General Edna Tuscan visited the manor three days ago. Very well, I'll call you. The butler did it. <laughs> I'm open for any... Uh, I'm open for any... Uh, there's a title drop, also. I'm open for any question from such a mighty butler. Admittedly, it feels nice to be respected by the likes of her. Uh, yeah, let's look at the revival. Uh, okay, nope, irrelevant. Honor titles. Could you tell me more about your titles? Over the years, I've acquired many titles and even more medals, did it? Through hard work and dedication, I achieved it all myself, something you would know very little about. My titles in chronological order of acquisition are High General Marshal Sergeant, Lady Colonel Major Centurion, Rear Ford Brigadier Admiral, Miss Major, Lieutenant Sergeant Commodore, uh, High Major Commodore of the First Navy, Oh no, third multiplication double admiral artillery vanguard company. What <laughs> my congratulations to all those titles. A, wal a walrus so consumed by her pride. Perhaps I can use this against her today. Can I not talk to her anymore? Well, your entrance hall is just as lovely as ever. These new plants really tie the room together. Are they imported? Yes, they are. Thank you, General Tuscan. But I had a long journey tonight, so I will go into the living room to recollect myself at around 5 p.m. So it's uh, 4 to 4 right now. Afterwards, I'd be happy to wake the Lord up. Alright, so he's leaving at 5. What is it, butler? Um, <clears throat> let's see. The revolver, Lord Tyrell. Would you be interested in this collector's item? Collector's item, hmm? Yes, engravings of the highest quality. Lord Dennington meant to give you this gun last time he came over for a visit. How incredibly thoughtful of him. He is such a kind man. Perhaps you want to show your newly acquired antique revolver around to some of our new guests? <laughs> I will do just that. Why don't you go ahead and tell everyone that you killed the Lord? Makes my job easier. Right, so it's four now. It's still raining outside. Not really much I can do. Okay, recollect myself in the living room at four. I love parties, but you know what I love more than parties? Money. And I work hard for the money I make. I have 25 businesses to run, but not all of them are about money for me. One business I'm running is a charity for a woman of modest means. Tyrell would never give money away. Something is fishy. This guy runs a charity. In order to run them all, I think I have to work around 200 hours a week to stay on top of things. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe you. 200 hours a week. When, you know, there aren't even that many hours in a week. Can my hard-working self do anything for you? 
Let's ask him about the charities. You mentioned you run a charity, Lord Tyrell. Yes, dear butler, it is the greatest gift to my hard-earned money to pe It is the greatest gift to give my hard-earned money to people in need. He would never give money away without an investment. It is nice to see a philanthropist at work, Lord Tyrell. Uh, is that some sort of tax evasion scheme? Um, well, I explored everything. There's not really anything new. I guess I have to wait until 5. Okay, yeah, so I can um, chew on the salt cube or whatever to pass time. Um, okay, something... That chess game is going to come up later. It's still raining outside. Um, let's see, so I have half an hour. Okay, so I'm assuming that's 30 seconds. So, okay. Let's pass time. Okay. Alright, it's about 5 now. And let's see, are you gonna leave? The doorbell rings once more. Okay, so he's left, or she's left. Okay, and we have a sloth here. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Did it. How is the old Lord Deddington <laughs> holding up? I killed him this midnight. Just great, he's sleeping in. Still <coughs> asleep, the old chap, very well. The surprise party is already in force, I take it. Now then, I will introduce myself to <coughs> guests. Happy to have you. Before you go, who are you? Who am I? <coughs> Why, dear butler, I'm Slothalus. Slothalus Sus, invited by the great detective who is said to arrive in a few hours. I've never heard of this man. I wonder if the other guests know anything about him. Slothalus Sus, I haven't heard of him, I guess tonight, but invited indirectly through the detective. Very well then, enjoy your stay at Deddington Manor. Okay, so apparently Lord Tyrell isn't the detective, even though he sort of solves mysteries. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Did it. How's the old... Okay, yeah, so same dialogue. Okay, and then... So whenever they have arrows above their heads, I assume they have something to talk about. Slothalus Sus is here, a great friend of the great detective who will also arrive here very soon, I'm sure. I've been looking forward to talk shop about detective business. I hope he can match my level of intellect. Two crazy guests, one guest I have never heard of, and one genius level detective. Just my luck. While I have intelligent and logical dialogue with Slothalus, why don't you talk to the gardener in the garden? Alright, so I'm assuming Okay, so that means I can go to the garden now, but I want to talk to the... Okay, apparently can't. Okay, I can. Greetings. Okay, nothing. I have nothing to talk about. Um, can I exit? Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go to the garden now. It's still raining. What? So where is the gardener then? Where is the gardener? Alright, so there's nothing I can do, so... I guess let's explore this area again. Bathroom, nothing in here. Okay, let's, let's look at the body again. Is there something new we can do? Oh, I can interact with this thing. How the Lord left it across each day. Who am I trying to fool with this? General visited last that day. Who am I trying to fool with this? Across each day. Okay, so what day is it today? Is it Saturday? Or... Okay, so I'm... Ooh. Okay, yeah. Alright, I thought I already cleaned the glass shards. Alright, so that's the calendar there. Anything new in here? I don't know if the calendar was interactive. Yeah, because I didn't see that before. I guess maybe it was just too dark and I missed it. 
Yeah, so then let's look in the puppet room to see if there's anything new. Nope. Gardener still isn't here. Oh, is it not raining anymore? Yeah, I don't see any rain in the through the window, so I'm assuming I can uh, talk to the gardener now. And maybe frame him for murder too, you know, just while I'm at it. Yeah, oh, oh, Slothalus is here now. The Lord's Library. Quite an experience to stand in a room full of knowledge and perspective. I'm sure Lord Deddington is an avid reader. Can't he see the layers of dust on these books? He most certainly is. Alright, nice. Conservatory. Alright, so I can't click on any of these. Oh. Statue of a horse? I can just walk past him. Good morning to you, Hugh. Does the Lord have any special instructions about the garden for me for today's surprise party? The Lord is dead and I killed him. Um, yes. Yes, great. Anything specific? Lord Dennington would like you to display his new orchids for our guests. Oh, the newly acquired ghost orchids? I'll have them set out here. So I don't really know what that does. Can I click on the bird? No. Butler is welcome. Exotic. Got some... Gertie's Garden Shears, Empty Letters, Carrot, a carrot grown in Gertie's Shack. Alright, so I'm just stealing everything now. Um, let's see, a tomato, yeah, okay. So, none of this does anything right now. Okay, so yeah, I have until 9 to frame the murderer. Um, oh, really not a lot of time. Anything else? Um, tell me about Sus. I've heard the Lord talk about him. Allegedly, Sir Sus is a close friend of the detective invited tonight. I'm sure the Lord would love to hear all sorts of stories from him. Do you think that the detective is already here? I think one of the guests might be the detective. I don't think he's here yet. Truly, I'm sure he would make himself known. <clears throat> Um, they're already here. Splendid. I will say hello as soon as I'm done. They haven't met me in such a long time. It's been a whole 10 days since they last saw each other. Alright, anything else? What are your plans for today? I'll be working in the garden all morning, and at 11 I'll start to prepare food for everyone in the kitchen, cooking, so that we can all have lunch together at 1.30pm. Afterwards, I will tend to the fr front yard. I have to cut the suspiciously large tree in front of Lord Dennington's study, but most of all, I'm looking forward to the afternoon tea at 6.30 with everyone. That giraffe can really talk a lot. Okay, so there's a suspiciously large tree. I'm assuming there's evidence there. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. A lot of time has passed. I have a lot of new items. Let's see if... Alright, so the sloth is gone now. I assume there's nothing to talk to you about. Let's see, kitchen, anyone in here? No, I'm not gonna waste time. Okay, okay, so you see there are two red things, so I'm assuming this is when they discover the murder, and this is when the game ends. Where is, uh, so I'm assuming he means this tree, but where did all the guests go? Um, maybe they are in the dining hall. Let's see. Mm, anyone here? Nope. Okay, um, not really sure what to do now. I don't really want to skip time because 
Um, can I burn in anything in here? I could burn those useless letters from Gertie. What letters? Empty letters? Mm. Um, I don't want to do that because there's no clear reason to yet. Um, so I think I will go upstairs. Oh, now it's almost time for him to wake the Lord up. Okay, let's just pass time. It's nine o'clock. Edna is kicking in Deddington's door and all the guests are gathering to wake the Lord. Lord Deddington, he's dead. Still asleep. <laughs> no, I think Lord Deddington is, here it comes, dead. Oh, Pickles, he's dead. He's dead? <clears throat> How could this happen? This isn't good. He needs a proper burial. Who could have done such a thing? I could do that. I am the gardener, <laughs> after all. Gardener, you committed this deed. Ah, uh, no, I mean the burial. I could do the burial. Good question, General Tuscan. Is Slothless dying as well now? What? He just turned into... Uh, Moose. It's so stuffy in here. A pleasure to see all of you. Slothless is... Allow me to introduce myself. I am Evidence. The great de <laughs> Evidence. Slothless, or that reindeer Evidence, is the great detective. Why the costume? The great detective? A disguise? A woman? Mistance. Try and change your name. Now, so the Lord is dead. He truly is. To find the murderer, I will search the house for clues and question each of you. I trust no one of you will tamper with the evidence. If you do see someone acting strange, report back to me. Your help is so appreciated, Detective Dents. Gentlemen and ladies, at midnight sharp, I will promise to have entangled this enigma. I will navigate through each room and carefully observe everything inside. If you do find me, ever here is where you will find me throughout the day. If you do need me, a list? Just when did she write that? Yes, a list for future reference. I'll put it in my notes. Maybe there will be things I need to show Eva before midnight. I will have it figure out before midnight. No, you won't. I need to cover all my traces until then. Manipulate the evidence, construct a false motive, incriminate someone else. Just don't be suspicious and don't get caught. I'll catch the killer. The meeting is officially disbanded. Any questions? Um, are we still having lunch at 1.30? Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> he won't be leaving without his free lunch. Oh, then if anyone needs me, you can find me in the kitchen. I will assist you in your efforts. Oh no. Okay, meeting disbanded. Okay. So. Okay, so I can put stuff here, I guess. Why the costume? All right, so do I wanna put stuff here? I don't think, don't think so. Um, you've already inspected this room. Altering the calendar now won't change anything. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I can talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a murder case on our hands. Specifically, someone committed bourgeoisie. Say nothing. I'm so sorry your dear lord died. I'm sure this is heavy on you, did it? Appreciated. Did you have something to show me? I'd like to tell you something. Do you like the man or how, what is your current suspicion? Ah, uh, Hugh, can I call you Hugh? Currently it is too early to say anything. Okay, so I don't think I wanna show anything right now. I wanna talk to everyone first. Lord Dennington, he passed away. Murdered, unbelievable, who would do such a thing? Tragedy, truly. Butler, give me some time. I need to grieve. Will I see you in the kitchen in half an hour so I can still talk to you? No, okay. Gardener, I can't believe he's really dead. What am I ever going to do? Who will tell me what to do with the garden? 
I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm certain he has always appreciated your work. Um, should I tell him how awful he was? Uh, should I? I don't think so. Oh, maybe, maybe that's gonna be a motive. Hold on. Hugh, I know it's awful at cooking. I'm scared. Okay, I can't. Misfortune has struck this house. Disaster of utmost proportions. Okay, so once the arrows are gone, uh, there's no new dialogue. Owl, my old friend Lord Dengton has left God's green earth. He held on to a few of my belongings. I'll take a look around if you don't mind. I'm sure you're just as sad as everyone else, butler. But don't worry, we'll find the culprit. Let's hope you don't. Don't tell this to anyone, but personally, I think it was likely the gardener. Do you have any leads for me? I have something to tell you. I think there is something interesting now. Go along, butler. Um. Let's see. Uh, if this isn't the Lord's trophy rifle. He would always boast about how you took it from a southern rebel when he visited the frontiers once. Really, he never mentioned. Well, when he told me, I was surprised that these primitives even understand how to use our modern weaponry. Sure, he did not think it was relevant to tell the likes of you either. I never saw him use it either, Lord Tyrell. Really? That's funny. After he boasted with it on one of his parties, I immediately sent someone I trust to retrieve one for me as well. And with trust, I mean I paid them a ludicrous sum of money. But mine did not work properly either. Interesting. Surely the primitives have tampered with its fine mechanisms and their ignorance. Such a sharp conclusion from you, dear butler. I see why old Deddington kept you around. Lord Tyrell, how are you holding up? You must be here somewhere. Are you looking for something? I know my way around the house. I could be of assistance. It's a matter of money. Nothing a butler like you would know about. Lord Tyrell, you are aware that I am a paid workforce, aren't you? Oh, yes, of course I am. When I say money, I'm usually not talking about insignificant sums like your salary. I mean, big money, the stuff you can vote with. These Americans and their weird customs. I was set up, I was set out to surpass the Lord in wealth within the next quarter. Can't be seriously thinking about that now. It looks like his untimely death resulted in the same outcome prematurely. Given my recent ventures, it was ine inevitable, but that is not my point. What do you mean? I once lost my first dollar at a particularly heated poker match at my fifth mansion. Naturally. And I lost it to Lord Deddington, that cheating old bastard, may God rest his soul. When I sobered up and asked him to give it back, he refused. That is the way of the game, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, of course you don't understand what this dollar means to me. I earned it by selling lemonade when I was half this size. I only sold one glass to my father, but he was so impressed that he invested into my future ventures ever since. It sure, it tasted delicious. However, Lord Dyington told me that he would only give it back once I surpassed him in wealth, and well, now that I did, even under these circumstances, I'd like to have it back. Do you know where he kept it? Hidden it? Displayed it somewhere important? Boast about it? I miss him. The Lord is keeping Tyrell's first dollars somewhere safe in his house. I would have probably overlooked it so far, but I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Okay, so I'm assuming this means I have a new item to interact with. Okay, let's... Puppetry... Thing here... Nope... Okay... Hmm... Did I check this room? Yeah, that was the bathroom. Okay, so we have to find his dollar somewhere. Let's go to the ground floor. I would assume it would be in the living room. Bags here, anything outside? Nope. Okay, not a lot of time left. 
Um, I think I'm gonna frame the gardener. Alright, let's see anything in here. Take this rose, nope. Okay, so I'm assuming this is where we're gonna meet later, but there's nothing in here yet. Alright, maybe, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I could burn those letters. How do I burn the letters? Please, can I burn the letters? How do I burn the letters? I want to burn the letters. How do I burn the letters? Hello? Can I, can I burn the letters? Okay, apparently not. I was gonna frame that and say, you know, like, and use that as evidence, but apparently not. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time going there because I don't think there's anything new. Um, yeah, I mean, I would assume he would frame the dollar in the living room because, you know, that's where he, because Tyrell said, like, you know, the Lord would frame it somewhere everyone would, would be able to see. Um,. Anything down here? Nope. Nothing to click on. Alright, so, um... Ooh. It's 12 now, so they're gonna gather at 12.30 for lunch. Or no, 1.30. Okay. Oh, the detective's gone now. Alright, so let's... There you are. Hello, did you find anything useful? Um... A rifle, maybe? Every information can be valuable, thanks. And... Okay, let's try telling him... Um... I murdered the Lord. No, um... Uses his staff. Okay, so I'm assuming that means, like, this information is not useful at all. Empty letters. Can I see what you have there, Hugh? Empty letters from Gertie's shack. Garden shears. Carrot. No, okay, so these literally don't do anything. Um, I don't think I should have showed the letters because now uh, she knows they're empty. What is a butler? Empty letters. Nope, nope. He saw. I want him to like frame the butler. But apparently that's not happening. Nope, okay, so yeah, nothing going on here. Okay, so, um. Where'd, where'd the. Where'd the navy girl. Where'd she go? Um, where'd the general go? Uh, she said to meet me in half an hour in the dining room. Oh yeah, well, there's food here now. Um. Okay. So I'll. I'll oh yeah, I'll go to the. Kitchen. Um, I, okay, I honestly don't remember what, um, he said, like, he gave me, you know, the whole spiel about the schedule, and I totally didn't remember any of it, I sh probably should have been taking notes. Anything clickable here? No. What is that? Sugar, our cardinal sin. Okay, so I have sugar. Whole bread, plain bread. Why do I need this? I don't know. Can I make like a poisoned meal? Can I make a poisoned meal here? Like a carrot? Like if I take this carrot? Nope. Okay, so. Okay, um. 
let's go back to the... Uh, well, let's check to see if anyone's over here in the... Oh, there's the dollar. I'm assuming... Could that be... Finally, time to rejuvenate with food. Always knew you cannot trust British cuisine. Everyone needs a good meal now. Let's start eating. Has everyone been enjoying their stay? Fantastic, just great. I've been investigating this case for three hours now and the puzzle is coming together, but not enough about my hobbies. How's your day been? We've all been in so much grief over the Lord's death and been thinking about our most precious moments. Remember vividly when he traveled to the next continent, he really showed those uncivilized residents, place full of the uneducated and the vulgar. The Lord described that faraway place as an estate of barbarism and communal tenor. But if the birds maintain their position as the supreme animal, uh, when the day may come when we shall be thankful that we have the natives with us in their proper position and also their entire cuisine is just so... Uh, uh, well, Terrell has unfiltered racism <laughs> spewing out of his house. What is that thing he is eating? dense, it's a suckling rat. The tycoon, the tycoon, eats nothing but rats. You don't know if the racism or eating rats is worse. From experience, I can say you get used to the racism. Lord Tyrell, it's bad to discuss politics at the dining table. Agreed, let's move on. Something you can't have stupid views on, butler. Why don't you tell us a story about the Lord? Who uh, wants their foods? I have so many great stories from him. I remember last week when Lord Deddington held a talk, <laughs> sent Gertie across continents, is that true? In order to find a rare flower, white ghost orchid, unmatched in beauty and scarcity. That does sound thrilling. Mr. Ponce, did you manage to find the flower? Actually, yes, I had to beat three old zebras with a shovel. For you see, the flower was in high demand, but I was able to secure the orchid. Fascinating tale, where's the orchid, where's the flower now? The Lord is very clear about it. No one shall ever see the ghost orchid, is what he told me. It is for the pleasure of collecting it. Flower is the only beautiful thing left in the world, next to self-crying. So, the Lord truly was a fan of adventure? Sure. Right, we have had food. Time for a solid 12 hours of mystery solving. Alright, so we have 12 hours. I need to find the owl to give him... I think I messed up there, but that's fine. <clears throat> Hello, did you find anything useful? Old dollar bill. Single dollar, we can even use these. Perhaps this dollar has a meaning to it. It was just behind some open wine bottles. You have suspicion. Have an idea of who the dollar is. The dollar is owned by... Dun, 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 dun. His first turn dollar. Well, now things are getting interesting. Uh, the Lord would only give it back once the tycoon surpassed him in wealth. This might be crucial information. Okay, so I just framed him for murder. <laughs> okay, um, none of these do anything. Okay, so I'll return the dollar now. I'm not sure where everyone is, though. Should have remembered the... What they were telling me. There's someone here. General. Can't believe you beat me with only half the board. Hot Dennington. Uh, it's you, Butler, did it. I'm sorry, I'm still in thoughts. Can I help you some? What are we talking about? No need, I was just thinking about last time myself and the Lord played chess in the library. Um, Edna played chess before his death. I beat him as always, even when I only played with half the board. I'll never forget the last words he said to me. Next time you only get pawns to bounce it out. Dying 10, I would love to see the day. Deeply sorry for the loss. Okay. 
So I guess I can tamper with the chess game. Um, okay, can I burn the letters now? Nope. Okay, S still can't burn the letters. Alright, let's look at the chess game. Looks like white won. Okay, so what if I, you know, swap things out? What if, let's say... Yeah, none of these... Okay, let's see. I put... Okay, and then I put this here. Then I put this here. Uh oh, I kind of um kind of forgot what the original placement was. Okay, so that goes there. No, that goes there. That goes there. This goes here. So only used half the board. What? Hmm. 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 What could? I don't know what messing with the chessboard could do at all. Let's go to the garden, find him, see if there's anything, find the gardener, see if there's anything new here. Someone took a bite out of that. Is there anything new here? Birds are still there. Butler is welcome, nope. Nothing here, okay, complete waste of time. I don't know what to... Okay, so... Who am I really framing? So, oh yeah, so I gave him the gun too, so... He has a motive, he has a means, but I should have shot... I should have shot... Um... The Lord with the gun, so, you know... Okay, here's your dollar back. Old dollar. Now what is this? I believe this to be a vintage dollar note. Small fold. Tiny speck of lemonade. It is you, my beloved. First turn dollar note. It looks like I returned his dollar. Tell me, where did he hide it? Um. <laughs> oh, found it behind some wine bottles. Freddy did. Your fine butler. It is rightfully mine. I think I just gave away what could have been evidence. That's fine. I already told him about that. I already told the detective, so that's fine. Um, where? Okay, so the detective is probably back up here. <clears throat> um, back up on the first floor investigating somewhere washroom nope puppet room mm, oh I can take what is that childhood photo showing the young lord and he seems to win over an old dressed Edna in mud wrestling interesting that was not there before, or, or at least I couldn't interact it with it before. Um, okay. Detective, standard answer. <laughs> oh, standard answer, okay. I returned. Okay, so I told him I returned it. Information could be valuable. Insensitive meaning could be of relevance. Yes, it could be connected. Before his demise, the Lord went to the general to inspect his trophy rifle. It is a modern rifle akin to your army's weaponry, although this one was used by one of the southern rebels. Uh, I already came across this information and also confirms my suspicion that modern rifles are used by both sides. Hugh, that is very interesting, might help me on my next case, but how might be connected? The reason he wanted me to give the rifle to Edna was that it had malfunctioned. 
When I mentioned it to General Tuscan, she believed very unusual, almost insecure. Her reaction led me to believe that the rifle had been tampered with, not by the enemy, but during production in her homeland itself. Are you aware that this is a heavy accusation? Yes, I brought you the weapon to confirm my suspicion. There we go, let me see. 904 caliber, muzzle loading percussion rifle, slightly outdated production pattern, manufactured in the northern part of Edna's homeland. Yes, the old, uh, to be exact, family business founded before the unification of the northern realms. Clearly showing signs of use to nobody's surprise. Eureka, Hugh, you were completely right. The mechanism has been tampered with. After less than a dozen shots, a predetermined breaking point breaks it entirely. You knew I could trust your expertise, although I'm glad that my intuition serves me well. The implications of this are grave. That is true, but it leads me to believe that someone was selling faulty equipment to the enemy to sabotage their war efforts. And given that she was aware of the situation, it can only mean the general committed war crimes. Oh my, to think that all of her glorious victories are based on cruel lying. This is certainly relevant for the case. Thank you for telling me this, Butler. He did it. Standard answer. Okay, photo. Well, if that's not the cutest dress in all of Britain, Mall. Detective, please observe the photo. Solid proof that General Tuscan isn't undefeatable. Important clue. Okay, well, let's just see if I have anything else. Um, any other information? Visited the manor three days ago. Okay, so I'm okay. I'm framing Lord Edna a lot too. Let's go downstairs, see if there's anything here. See if there's anyone here. I really do want to like collect some poison maybe but uh, I guess they don't just have poison lying around let's see only have about an hour two hours <clears throat> left <clears throat> let's check over here anyone in here nope maintenance picture of Lord Edna um Okay, something's gonna happen now. Oh, never mind. That something's gonna happen the next cycle. Um. Okay, I don't know why I keep coming here. There's literally no one here. I don't know where everyone is. <clears throat> I I went to the garden. No one there. Ooh, okay, the detective's gone now. I should have definitely paid more attention. Nope. <clears throat> Ooh, let's <clears throat> look upstairs. Lord study. <clears throat> Nothing new in here. Um, hmm. Detective is here now. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, so... What's oh wasn't he like playing a chess game? Okay, this isn't gonna do anything now because she already inspected it. Inspected, altering the calendar won't change anything. I wanna look at the I wanna know how the chess game plays into everything. Um go to the ground floor. Maybe if I, maybe if I let the Lord win, don't really know to be honest. Is she gonna see me tampering with the evidence? Find anything useful? 
Um, sugar, nope. Bread, nope, literally doesn't do anything. I need to find the gardener because I have a lot of his stuff, but I don't know where he is. Is he in the garden now? He said he would... Oh yeah, oh, everyone's here, nice. What is it? Oh, I should bring up the charity to him, to the detective. Um, none of this is gonna do anything. Wait, okay, I want to see what um, the detective has to say. Oh no. Day is slowly coming to an end and sun is setting. Uh, setting on a bad day, I'm afraid, but not an unsuccessful one. You already brought it up. I'm sure everyone would present. Mm, I'm just here to serve. But you must have cared for your master, given that you lived on the same roof for two years. Don't make too much of it. I'm sure many views on how to treat your servants. It's important not to let them get emotionally attached. See, do you also share this view, Edna? I believe the dining room and battlefield are very similar to each other. Chain of command is important, but shared battles forge deeper bonds with your subordinates. Really, that must make downsizing such a hassle. That is not a problem. The army usually does not need to recruit soldiers. Anyway, I really would be interested in your findings. Well, I can imagine that everyone is thrilled to know who will leave this party in handcuffs tonight. But it'll have to wait, there's still five more hours. Soon we all agree, we're confident to leave the matter to your capable mind. We'll lie on the other wing, I'm already quite confident of my current suspicion. Maybe Lord Tyrell wouldn't mind to share his conclusion. It'd be unfair to cloud the great detective's judgment prematurely. I'll collect my final thoughts and call you in for cross-examination 30 minutes to midnight. This day is not over yet, but I promise by it that by the end of it, the case will be closed. Very exciting. It's almost bedtime, be sure to wake me up timely, but please don't kick in my door either. Okay, so, okay, it's slightly dark now. I want to, okay, talk to you first <clears throat> about the photo. As I understood, you were childhood friends. A long time has passed, but few things have changed. Is that so general? Naturally, I know it is hard to believe in for such a mighty butler as you, but I, I have always been this glorious. From the moment I left my mother's womb, I knew that it was my destiny, my responsibility to serve my country. Excuse the question, but you once mentioned that you and the Lord were rivals in both mind and body. We often practiced the brutal art of mud wrestling in our adolescence. In recent years, our battles shifted to the ones fought by the mind. Friendly matches of chess, I've always, uh, I've always enjoyed our confrontations, although I was one naturally. Okay, so that was not very useful. Um, have anything to say? Nope. Let's see. Nothing to say. Hello, Hugh. Empty letters. Oh, I see. Garden shears. I see. A tomato. I see. Carrot. I see. Sugar. I see. Bread. I see. Um. I see. Okay, literally nothing. Um. Anything new over here in your in his room? Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna go meet the detective. Don't really know what else I have. Um trying to think of you know what other evidence I can present. Uh, but maybe some things have changed too. Maybe there's new evidence somewhere. It's very strange that I can move the pieces. Burn the letters. Nope, still can't burn the letters. Um, anything in here? Okay, the detective is probably upstairs, or maybe downstairs. 
Um, so can't play the piano. Okay, let's check downstairs. Oh, ha, huh, you are downstairs. For anything useful. Play chess before, why the costume? Nope, can't ask you now. Um... Nope. Okay, let's see. Can letters? Can I see what you have there? It's... Nope. Okay. Literally nothing to add. I think I'm missing some evidence here. Maintenance doesn't do anything. Kitchen. Anything in the kitchen? Oh, the general is here in the kitchen. Greetings. You want some bread? Nope. Photo. Okay, it's the exact same. <clears throat> um. Okay. Literally nothing new. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go comb the upstairs, and if I find nothing new, then I'll just skip time. Skip time until um. Uh, it's time. What is that? Nothing, okay. Also, I like how whenever um, the butler presents evidence, he lifts the lid off the tray as if every all the evidence he collects, he just stores it there. I think that's a pretty nice detail. Alright, puppet room, nope. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna skip time. Because, yeah, I... Anything new in the bathroom? Nope. Okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything new, so... Let's check the dining room one more time. Nope, nothing here. Alright, well, let's just skip time. Just enjoy this nice piece of salt. Alright, let's see if anything changed. Um, I don't think anything changed. I still don't know what doing this would achieve. Um... Maybe if I just switched all the pieces. No. Okay then. I still don't know how that can tie into anything. <clears throat> Alright, if there's nothing new here, then I'll just skip time. I don't think I have anything new with um, Tyrell. Let's see if I can... Anything new? Hello, Hugh. You want your shears? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's... Okay, let's enjoy this beautiful animation of him licking the salt and uh, getting high, presumably. The time is over. Cross-examination. Alright, everybody, thank you for gathering here. I would love to tell you that I already have a clear picture, but I'm afraid that there are still some puzzle pieces missing. Please answer my questions truthfully. Questions before we begin. All right, let's start. All right, then Mr. Potts, please take a stand. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes, it's all right. 
Oh, Mr. Potts, you had a unique relationship. You said that you never actually met the man. Oh, what? Yes, he would always send me letters written with an invisible ink. They would have instructions on them on what to do with the garden. Lord Dennington was a mysterious man. Now I really don't know why anyone would believe that. You've worked here for so many years, you must have met him at some point. Thank God I got rid of those letters, otherwise she would have believed that story. Oh, so... Oh, I did successfully burn the letters, but I still showed them to her. I think that's a bug because it said I still had the letters. Do you have proof? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, it, when I picked them up, were they empty letters or were they actual letters? Because in my UI, it says they're empty letters. So maybe I just burned the contents when I put it in the fire or whatever. I don't whatever <clears throat> a pity let's continue as unbelievable this weird relation might sound like it matches with my findings Invisible ink. let's continue mr. Potts you take care of the garden the front yard and anything else that comes up correct yes ma'am so we had perfect understanding of the mansion's floor plans as does everyone else who works here however I don't see any way you could have exploited this knowledge moving on Okay, so that means I didn't present her with the correct evidence. That will be all for you. Next person. General Tuskin. Tuskson. Let's get right on. You met with the Lord three days ago. The calendar does not suggest that he died the day you visited. I can confirm he was still alive that day. Alright, General, let's proceed. This right here. But I think... If I if I said like he died three days ago, then wouldn't then like what? So I just took care of a dead lord for three days. That doesn't make sense. This right here, this weapon from a battlefield you fought on with the lord. It is a keepsake. Mm, that is correct. Let's continue onwards. General, I believe you've known the lord since childhood. Yes. <clears throat> Guess you actually didn't. Impressive. All right, that was certainly annoying. The plot is thickening. Lord Tyrell. <clears throat> and personally, I don't understand what we're here for. We all know the butler did it. Highly unlikely. Ah. <clears throat> no, wait. This says, <clears throat> Tycho Tyre. Oh, uh, whatever. You visited the Lord five days ago. Well, if you're going to be this defensive, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I think your visit has nothing to do with the murder. Honestly, I don't know about your business ventures, and I care about them so little that I will just hope it is not relevant. There must be some reason why you're so obsessed with having more money than the Lord. I mean, your current wealth is already enough to give every animal in the world a good life for five years, and you spend the money on buying newspaper companies. Are you Citizen Kane? The truth is, I just really like money. Now you see, I think there's another separate reason for your greed. I think you wanted to specifically be richer than Lord Deddington because he has your first dollar. <clears throat> hmm. Um, which never happened. Within the next quarter. Oh, so I shouldn't have given him the dollar. Oh god. Tiny owl wings can never kill the Lord. So if you had, say, a tiny revolver, killing the lord would be easy. Uh, we found this revolver in your luggage. The gunpowder in its butt tells a different story. This gun definitely shot a bullet in the past. I believe that killing the lord would have been easy with this tool at your disposal. This was enlightening. Now it's my turn. <clears throat> Butler Hugh did it. Don't think this one will be important, but I would like to be thorough. Are you ready to be questioned? I did kill the Lord, but I think I'm prepared. <clears throat> Splendid. My investigation suggests that you have been at this house seven days a week for the past months. That is correct. I wasn't and still am dedicated to my craft. <clears throat> would you mind sharing what you were doing the day the Lord died? I murdered the Lord. I was performing a ritual. I was reading... Carl Quark's stats. Quarkatol? Now that is suspicious. 
Nothing suspicious about critical theory. Hugh, you have been working in this house for quite some time now, two years almost. Can you tell me what was your relationship with the Lord like? Got along well. Imagine those these unfortunate events must be difficult. At this point, I'm convinced she's playing with me. Yes, the crime's shame. Nothing at the crime scene suggests that you did it, Hugh. Certainly interesting. So I think I'll get away scot-free. Now for the grand reveal. Butler, do you already know who did it? Sure do. I must say that most cases are not solved like these, but in this case, my conclusion leads me to believe that it is, in fact, quite the cliché. Uh-oh, the butler did it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't able to clear myself of suspicion. Um, I'd say this game was pretty fun. It's a pretty nice concept. There are a few, you know, bugs. I could be with Mac compatibility because I don't have access to a PC right now, so I'm playing on my Mac, so... Um, yeah, slight, a few spelling errors, but overall the story is, you know, it's okay, and yeah, I'm um, not really sure how the time mechanic worked. I wish in the notes they would have um, given me like a schedule for everyone, that would have been really useful. But um, anyways, I supposedly this game was made by four students. So yeah, I think um, I did enjoy this game, even though I didn't win, but if you guys want, I'll play this game again and beat it, because, you know, now that I've played once, it should be easier. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.